I have heard you say in the past, you know, what you just said that DeSantis is out trumping Trump. So can you elaborate or trying to and not um, being able to out Trump Trump successfully? So can you elaborate more on that and how that's backfiring, maybe related to the lawsuits that, um, you know, he's undergoing with Disney, you represent Orlando. So how is that also in his attempt to out Trump Trump? Is that also playing a role in that? In, um, and how is that affecting your constituents? Yeah, another great question. So let's talk about it. So, you know, Walt Disney World is is a global company that uh, is a major economic engine in Florida, especially in Central Florida, one of our largest employers, and of course, one of our largest generators of revenue. Florida, I mentioned earlier, has a very regressive tax structure, meaning that we're heavily reliant on sales tax over other types of uh, revenue generators. And in particular, tourism is a large chunk of that. And not only is it the sales tax revenue, but it's our tourism development tax, which is the hotel tax that visitors pay. And so much of that is driven by the presence of Walt Disney World in our state. And this is a company that defended trans kids in the face of what was the first iteration of the Don't Say Gay Trans Bill um, last legislative session. And because Disney expressed an opinion the governor did not like, he went after them. He tried to cancel them. Of course, we even saw people protest outside of Disney holding signs calling the company grooming and you know, perpetuating all this homophobia and transphobia, really for no legitimate reason, just because people were given permission and, and, and encouraged to do so. And you fast forward to you know the governor's attempt to take over um, the, the Disney oversight board and that has backfired. You know, at this point, he is facing a, a major litigation from this company that has some pretty direct accusations backed by evidence. You know, there are quotes of politicians who explicitly stated that these laws targeting Disney were crafted to target Disney. You can't do that. You can't use government to weaponize and penalize um, individuals or corporations that you don't like because they express an opinion you disagree with. And um, I suspect Disney will win this lawsuit. It's not going to um, happen overnight, but that's another waste of public resources on fighting these unconstitutional battles that, again, are, are really driven by the governor's own ideological uh, mentality that he would rather create chaos than govern. And of course, if you read the governor's uh, book that he recently put out, he has an entire chapter about how he took down Disney, right? So there's complete embarrassment for him because his entire ideology, his entire image, I should say, was built upon this story of taking on Disney. And yet at this point, you know, he's flailing in, in the face of uh, what he was trying to accomplish. And so the impact on our constituents is is real. You know, we have folks who are worried about their jobs. We have folks who work at Reedy Creek who, who are concerned about their ability to maintain their same sex relationships and, and receive benefits. And so it's a lot of uncertainty. It's a lot of concern. And we should be focused as elected officials in creating calm, not chaos. But of course, for DeSantis, his path to power is to create as much division as possible. So that's his incentive. But for the rest of us here, we're just trying to make ends meet and, and support the needs of everyday people.